Hello friends, welcome to Lab 4, Install and Configure Dashboard. We are working on controller, login as user stack. So to install software, we need to switch to the user root. So sudo su hyphen. Alright. Now then you need to install this OpenStack Dashboard. Okay. apt get install hyphen y open stack hyphen dashboard all right open stack dashboard i have already installed this dashboard so there's no point wasting time i just issued the command now i'm going to take you to this file so vim and this file in this file we have to make few changes for example this variable we need to change it to OpenStack host. So let's take a look at the value store in OpenStack host. So we need to change it to controller. Mind it, go to the corresponding variable. If the variable is not given, you need to enter that, you need to specify that, otherwise change the existing values. So controller, we have mentioned that. Next is allowed host. So be careful about it. Okay, so allowed host. So by default it is star, good enough, we are not going to change it, that's fine. This session engine, you may not find it, so let's go to the next variable. And after that, what we will do is, this is a cache, okay, and cache we ne need to verify. By default, you will find here localhost, instead of controller, the location was localhost that is 127.0.0.1 and then just before that I enter this line I just copy pasted this line that is session engine Django contrib sessions backends cache so I specified a change this line fine now and then after that this part also I done I change this next is go to this URL let's check this URL also on this file okay so check this URL. So here OpenStack host already specified and this URL already given. Okay. Next is OpenStack Keystone multi-version multi-domain support. By default this variable you may not find this variable or the value was false by default. Basically this was a commented line. So I uncommented the line and I changed the value to true. It was by default false. So better is you go and change the existing lines or make copy of those lines and then work on it. All right. Next is this identities, versions, OpenStack API versions, identity version 3, image version 2 and volume version 2. So I removed rest of the lines as of now. Okay. Next is OpenStack default role. So let's check this value. By default it was member underscore member. So we changed it to user, the default keystone role. If you want to change it, you can change it, no problem. Let's change it to member underscore member and see the difference. If it works, okay, member underscore member. This was the default role. By default this was a role, I changed it to member. So we'll change it again if it throws some error, all right. So we'll keep the default value in fact. So there's no harm keeping the default value as long as you know what you're doing. Okay. And this is a OpenStack Neutron Network. All the values were, a lot of values were true and I just made them to false and these values were not there. I enter these three lines, these lines were not there. So I made them to false. All the values should be false in this. And then finally the time zone, time zone. By default it was UTC, I change, change it to my time zone which is Asia Kolkata. I changed the time zone also, okay. So once the settings are done, what you should do is, you should uh, check this value, whether this file is, this line is included in this file. Let's take a look at this file. Okay, so this line 
should be there WSGI applications group percent global so this line is already there okay so good to go this line is also there next is service Apache to reload we need to restart so system CTL restart Apache 2 and enable it all right now once Apache is restarted and service is running you can access the dashboard that is horizon on your host machine also if you have watched the previous lab carefully then our dashboard is available on this page controller slash horizon okay let's try to access it now and we can check the errors if any okay for that what we need to do is sudo su hyphen and then there's a command tail hyphen f all right let's check a look tail hyphen f slash where slash log slash apache2 and then error logs if there are any errors you will get the errors here so let's see so we'll keep this blank portion now here default domain default domain admin user and the password is admin pass which I specified and logged in let's watch the errors if there is, there is any error that will be displayed here in the logs so we'll see that uh, so attempted scope default fail will attempt to scope to another domain okay this is a warning or info this is information so no problem so far so good let's see if some error is thrown here if not our dashboard is up and in. let me see let's not not be in a hurry okay now this time I'm waiting because it takes some time and we should have that patience it may take a minute or two and if there is any error that will be thrown here and that's what I'm monitoring the logs that's the best way to troubleshoot because as you go you monitor the errors and if there is any error that will be thrown here into the log file so we can easily track those errors warnings login successful it's up to here so good so far so good login is successful let's see now next part after that what happens so remote address is 10.0.0.1 that is the host machine's IP address good as of now there is no error let's check that if there is any error so we'll troubleshoot that also but hopefully there should be no error these are these labs are tried and tested multiple times but sometimes what happens you missed a spelling you missed space now last time I noticed that in the past WD file the script file wow go, great so we got it good one so users and see here we are dashboard is up and running okay this is admin user this is sang1 user fantastic groups no group we created one role I remember my role I created last time member is the role so it was member not underscore member and that is the reason probably we got that error so let's uh, keep that as member rather than you know the role default role well, that was given to as underscore member underscore member so let's make changes that that's good we need to make changes into that file right so we need to make changes into this and the default role was user right open stack keystone default role let it be member because there is no such user as such so we'll keep that as member because we know that there's a member with this name rather than member underscore member underscore member so let's keep it uh, only member 
that makes sense all right so let's make it member now let's restart the apache so instead of user i because the role default role was uh, uh, member was there user was not there we have not created any role for that so therefore that's fine if uh, we can change it to the default role which we have so we could see that there were uh, these were the roles available let's try to log in log out and log in again so this is our uh, dashboard friends we have dashboard up and running now next session we'll enjoy more because then we'll have a command line as well as the dashboard to monitor the services and the configurations we'll be able to do a lot of things through the dashboard also we are just trying for the first time and last time one more that is login name is admin uh, password is admin pass and that's it let's see uh, because I have assigned this time uh, the default role is member let's see if the admin user belongs to member then it will should not throw that one warning message one man message came on the dashboard if you notice that that's fine that's uh, not a big issue but still because we could log in and we could see the dashboard there was no problem moreover we have not configured any services we have not configured any project we have not done anything so far so we have uh, not compute uh, you know co configured any instance or images or anything this is our just blank dashboard without anything that's okay we are fine with it let's see if it comes so finally dashboard is up and running let's see once more Can monitor the log file also by the way yeah login is successful so these are the log files and if you notice after some time after the login is successful after it takes few seconds after that right yes now uh, let's see that warning is coming on that's still coming because we have not configured any services it's fine it's fine if we have not configured anything okay so dashboard is up an interesting thing is about the dashboard is we have multiple themes available here okay we'll see that I'll show you just now these are the projects and the users if you notice I created when I configured Keystone for the first time I created a project also users also you know I created this project remember the Skillpedia project and good thing is that we have multiple theme here this is the default theme is this let's take a look at the default theme this is the default theme of OpenStack alright and if you change to material then this is another theme so we have multiple themes available about on the dashboard so let's go to the Ubuntu theme itself because we are working on Ubuntu. That's all for this session. Thank you very much.